All right, I have a stock market app that is talking to Yahoo and getting some data and showing it. Right now it's showing Google stock price. And right now it's showing exactly what I get back from the web API. It's a comma separated value string. It's got the price and the change of the day. Okay. I'm going to show you how to how to change this so I can kind of parse that string and grab grab some of it. Like for instance, what if I just want to show just the price? Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a variable and I'm going to name that variable stock info. Okay, and, and the info, I don't care what it starts out of, it doesn't matter, it's going to start off as an empty string. Okay, now this response content coming back, so when I go request the information, it comes back in this got text event and it's in this parameter response content. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this comma separated value, it looks like this, into a map inventor list. Okay, um, so I'm going to go to the list area, and there's this list from CSV row. So what I've got is a CSV comma separated value row coming in, and I'm going to stick response content in into that. Okay, and that's going to give me a list. So what I want to do is I want to set my new variable I created to that. And really, all I'm doing here is converting a string with commas into a list that I can then deal with. Okay, and In fact, I know the first item in the list is the stock price and the second item is going to be the change of the day. Okay, So once I've got my list, then I can use select item from list Okay, and just grab the first, in this case, the first item. Or I could grab the second item if I wanted how much it's changed during, during the day. So my list is going to be this stock info. Okay. And in this case, I just want the first item. All right. So now, um, whenever I make a request to get the API, it's going to come back as a comma separate value in response content. I'm going to convert that into a list and then grab the first item. I could also grab whatever other items there were and do, do that, do whatever I want with them. So what I'm doing is parsing it. In other words, processing this list in order to grab its, grab its part. So just to show you, I'm going to touch the update button on my phone. My phone's projecting on the screen and uh, let me get this error. So what's this error? Okay, so yeah, I grabbed the wrong block. So I grabbed the list to CSV row. It's very confusing. I'm glad, actually I'm glad that came up. So I don't want list to CSV row. So my, my bug is I want the list from CSV row, right? I want to convert a CSV row of text um, into a list. And what I was doing was kind of the opposite block. And, you know, a little bit, it's a little bit misleading. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the list from a CSV row, which is the response content. So I'm going to touch the update button. And as you see, it now just shows, shows the stock price. Okay, so um, this is a way to process comma separate values and kind of parse them, get each item that's coming back. And in this case, I just got the first item and, and showed it. But if I wanted to, I could, could process this stuff and do, do whatever I wanted with, with the data.